Welcome to AI Decoded. Today, we are going to be talking about the, the top future of five. Work. The future of work in 2025. Career trends in 2025. First, data is the new oil. The future of work. There is a ton of advice out there. It's overwhelming. Everywhere you look, somebody's shouting about the next big thing that'll change your career. But what if we cut through all that noise? The rules are changing and so are the skills that you need to succeed. I've been leading teams for over 20 years and I've navigated some massive career changes. And during that time, I've been where you are, just wondering what's next. So I sat down over the last two and a half weeks and dived into the trends and the research and my own experiences to identify three skills that will set you apart in 2025. Something's been bothering me lately. I've been reading all these headlines about how Gen Z, the youngest generation in our workforce, is avoiding one specific role. It's not that they don't have the skills or the ambition, but it seems like more and more of them are stepping away from something that, to me, is absolutely critical. Many Gen Z employees say they have enough on their plate to manage themselves. And with the slow demise of the typical 9 to 5 job, it becomes increasingly attractive not only to step away from the office, but from the sometimes thankless task of leadership. The irony is this though, the more remote we work, the less we work from a single location, the more important leadership actually becomes. In my time as a C-suite executive, I managed teams across the globe and it was challenging because not only did I have to pay attention to the work, but also to the cultural differences. Now those new generation of leaders, they have to add in even more. We have to consider the individual work styles of employees, their location and what they have at their disposal. So it is no wonder that the demand outweighs the supply, but herein lies the very big opportunity for us today. So what can we do? Focus on empathy, communication and conflict resolution. Those unique personal skills are very important when you want to develop your leadership style. Take leadership courses that emphasize soft skills and emotional intelligence. Skills that are critical in a world where AI will manage all the technical aspects of management. Don't shy away from leadership roles. Whether it's leading a team or a project, every experience gives you this unique opportunity to develop others and bringing out their best. I'll link some leadership channels in the description below. They are a great starting point if you want to sharpen your skills. And at the end of the video, I will also talk about a giveaway for an AI tool that helped me become a lot more productive and that probably will give you a little bit of time back to develop your skills. It's really fascinating how the world is changing and how AI is reshaping everything. But today, I'm not really here to talk to you about AI because there is a far more important skill I want to talk about. And for that, I'm sitting down with Mike Ashi, a good friend of mine in the leadership space here on YouTube and also the head of strategy at OneClick, this fast-growing AI platform that used to focus solely on making short-form content for YouTube. But now they shifted gears and they are doing something really different. We are the only platform that is able to collect consumer sentiment in real time and help companies uh, brands, um, celebrities, like big names, really understand what people think, feel about them in a quantitative and qualitative ma uh, manner. When you talk about pivot, so one click, we started as uh, video repurposing, but then our team started working on a, 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 the ability to brainstorm with an AI. So as a content creator, I was like, I, I'm here by myself. I work by myself. I don't have anybody to bounce ideas off of. So they started creating that AI and a lot of it was actually to work with me and my, my leadership channel. They were able to understand what are people looking for? What do they need more of? What do they connect with in terms of videos you've published? What are they disconnected with? Nobody has done that um, uh, to the way we were able to, to get that information, including YouTube, where we had a meeting with YouTube uh, executives and they're like, 
you're getting this information from your comment section? I'm like, yeah, I'm getting from my comments. I'm getting from other channels' comments. We're able to run that. Um, and their aha, like, oh my goodness, how is this happening? Really sparked us to say, consumer sentiment, public perception has huge value. What do you think the skills are that we need to learn to be successful in the next few years or the decade to come? I really think it is, and I will tell this to my kids, I think that if you can, you start going into the service industry because that's the skill that at the moment AI can't do. It's communicating one-on-one, -on -one, being able to pick mm. up on, is this person interested? Are they not interested? Can I sell them something? Are they selling me something? Where it's not taking over at the moment would be where you want one-on-one -on -one conversation. Your hairstylist, not my hairstylist, but your hairstylist. <laughs> that might be something that comes a lot later because people still want that connection. They want that personal touch. But when it comes to mundane tasks, when it comes to office work, when it comes to even creative thought, which sounded, this sounds weird for me to even say, but as I'm watching it, AI is becoming very creative. How it became creative, that's, you know, up for discussion and, and some people like, some people think that it's stealing. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of creativity coming out of a, a program, coming out of, you know, ones and zeros. It's being able to communicate and have that connection, that one-on-one, -on -one, that interpersonal connection. Those are the skills. Those are the soft skills that you, I think you really need to double down on. And listen to your audience, if anybody is scared of AI, what I will say is don't run from it. It's not going anywhere. Your best bet is to learn about it and see the opportunities that are, are there um, because hiding is not going to do you any favor. See, what Mike said hit me hard. What makes us irreplaceable isn't even something that we consider it to be in the realm of human personality, like having a feeling or having creativity. AI may have become more creative, but we as humans still rely very heavily on this one-to-one -one interaction with each other, the ability to tap into our ingenuity. And that helps us not only to solve problems, but solve them in a way that a machine never could. And that is what makes us irreplaceable. You know, there's been a lot of talk about a remote work and hybrid work models lately. Companies like Amazon, Apple and even Google are starting to force people back into the office. But here's what many people don't realize. The real shift isn't just about where you work. It's about how you work. I read something lately that truly blew my mind. Reid Hoffman, the co-founder of LinkedIn, is predicting that in 2034, the traditional 9 to 5 job as we know it today will be extinct. That is just 10 years from now. And 38% of the American population is already freelancing today. So that number is only going to go up. There are also some scary statistics out there. For example, the World Economic Forum predicts that next year in 2025, 85 million jobs will be replaced by AI. But while we get scared, we often don't listen to the flip side. Because the same forum also suggests that 89 million new jobs will be created. Many of those new jobs won't be tied to a desk or an office or even a single company. They will be part of the gig economy where we can leverage our work for multiple industries, multiple employers and on our own terms. The gig 2.0 economy isn't remote work. It's not about working for a company from home. This is about having an ability to design your own career, to build a portfolio of skills and then to take those skills and apply them across multiple industries or multiple employers. And by that, you also have the opportunity to build multiple income streams and start to pivot whenever you need to. So how do you get started? How do you prepare yourself? First of all, you need to be adaptable. Gig work isn't static. You need to be open to new projects, new industries, and sometimes completely new ways of working. Second, pay attention to building your personal brand. In the gig economy, you 
are the business. And whether it's through a personal website, LinkedIn or other social media, the way you portray yourself becomes critical. And lastly, commit to constant learning, whether it's a new tool or recertifying a skill. Staying ahead of the curve becomes critical to thriving in this fast-paced, new, flexible way of working. In 2025, the workforce will continue to evolve and AI will continue to revolutionize many aspects of how we work. But let's not forget, the real power lies in leadership, human ingenuity and the drive to personal freedom. And as busy professionals in the middle of their career, your opportunities for growth and to shine have never been greater. Now, AI can't replace the human skills, but it can help us to manage our time better. And for that reason, I've partnered up with RISE for a tool that completely transformed how I work. It's something that you can just simply install on your computer, it works out of the box, and it helps me to really understand where and when and how I spend my time. The best thing is that there is a link in the description where you can completely try out the tool for free and after that get a 25% discount. And if you are really lucky, I'm giving away three lifetime licenses to RISE, completely free of charge. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel and enter the raffle by clicking the link in the description below. The first 100 entries will qualify for the raffle and I will announce the winners through a community post on the 6th of December. And if you're curious what the skills were that were relevant in 2024, they are still worth checking out. So watch this video next. Until then, take care.